Good morning. Today is Thursday the 3rd of February. What do you do when you receive good news? Do you keep it to yourself or do you go out and shout and tell it to as many people as you can? And in doing so, do we remember also to give our thanks and praise to God or does he get forgotten? In this last week, I received some good medical news and I want to praise and thank my Lord and Saviour for walking with me and holding me in the times of uncertainty and to praise him that he walks with me still in these times when everything has worked out for the good. So today I'm sharing with you some Bible verses which help me to give praise and thanks to God. Firstly, from the book of Chronicles. Sing to the Lord, all the earth, proclaim his salvation day after day, declare his glory amongst the nations, his marvellous deeds amongst all people, for great is the Lord and worthy of praise. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, his love endures for ever. And then we turn to the Psalms. The Lord is my strength and my shield, in him my heart trusts, and I am helped. My heart exalts, and with my song I give thanks to him. O come, let us sing to the Lord, let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving, and let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love and his wondrous deeds for mankind. For he satisfies the thirsty and fills the hungry with good things. And then turn into the New Testament in some words of Paul to the Colossians. Let the word of Christ dwell richly in you, teaching and admonishing one another in all wisdom, singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, and with thanksgiving in your hearts to God. And his words to the Thessalonians. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. So when we get good news, let us remember to also give praise and thanks to God. And using the words of St Paul to the Philippians, let us pray. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. <laughs>